Hey Leo, it's Tanisha from Tanisha's Tarot. I'm here to do a May reading for you and um, this reading is going to have a focus on uh, relationship aspects for the month. And I'm going to do three cards to begin with and then do some clarification so we get a deeper understanding of what the tarot is trying to tell us. So here we go. Alright, I've actually gotten four cards. So, alrighty, okay, alright, Leo, so this is telling me that um, the Seven of Wands upright is usually about defensiveness and feeling quite actively defensive, even having to sometimes like defend your personal space or your, you know, um, or your person in general. So up the other way, it's sort of telling me that you've stepped out of a space of feeling defensive. Um, you're not holding on to this, whatever it was that caused you to feel defensive in the first place. So, yeah, you're stepping away from that energy of um, sort of holding the world at bay. Now... The next card that came out was the Five of Cups in Reverse, which is telling me also that you, up this way, it is about looking at the past and seeing only the spilt wine here and the cups that have fallen down and not really factoring in that you still have these two cups sitting upright. So when it's in reverse, this is telling me that you have um, come to a space of come into a space of acceptance and that you're not holding on to regrets from the past anymore. So stepping out, out of defence and then out of regret, that's two positive um, aspects of these cards. Now the next one that's come out is the lovers in reverse. Uh, so this is telling me that um, a... Union you had with someone, a soul connection you had with someone, has um, you know not turned out the way that you thought. So there's some sort of this could even be like unrequited love, um, something that isn't you know even like perhaps this person has actually helped you drop your defenses and helped you stop regretting the past, but at the same time it isn't actually turning into a relationship. Um, it isn't going the way, you know, it, there's no forward movement with this, with this relationship. It's actually like the lovers in reverse is a parting of ways, not a unification. So the next card that comes out here is three of swords, which is heartache. So, um, this is, you know, sometimes our heart has to ache. So we remember that we have one. And I know Leos, you guys can be quite stoic, but you actually do have really big hearts. So this experience has sort of, um, you know, it is going to cause you a little bit of grief. And I think you're going to feel disappointment that this, that the lover's card isn't upright. Um, let's do some clarification to see, because uh, sometimes this first layer is just like a, um, it's it guides us of like what's your overall things and then as we go deeper it sort of it can change cards around because I've definitely seen when I do clarification other card like the other card suggests that this is turning up another way you know so let's have a look what the clarification cards want to say okay so clarification for the seven of wands for Leo in May 2019 the seven of wands. <laughs> okay, so it's the seven of swords. All right. So the seven of swords upright is often about um, not the seven of wands is defensiveness, and then the seven of swords can be sneaking away from something. So this in reverse is telling me that you are not sneaking away. You're not sneaking away from anything. You are standing there and facing it. You're not defensive anymore, but you're standing there in your power and you're facing it. So um, whether this is a person 
or a situation or even just a part of yourself. You know, often when we focus on relationship readings, it can come out with things that have to be sorted out in ourselves first because you sort of need to, um, like ideally, you want to have um, a balanced inner life so as you can then share that with somebody in your outer life. Um, if you have imbalance, great imbalance in your inner life and then you attract somebody, you're going to, you will often attract somebody else who has these, has their own set of imbalances, which combined can then be tumultuous or problematic, you know, can be, um, not fun for either party. All right. So the five of cups in reverse clarification for that. Uh, for Leo, May 2000. All right. Yeah. So the Nine of Cups came out, and this is good. This is this is what I was just talking about. Like you, this is like one of the most content cards in the deck. So is this coming out as a clarifier for you finding that space of acceptance? This has brought you great harmony within yourself and confidence within yourself. So you um, are sitting in a space of strength and. Sometimes that can then lead us to go, right, I'm fine now. All right, I'm ready to attract somebody. Well, sometimes you need to sit in this space longer. And I think that perhaps that's, um, yeah, sit in this space as long as you can because this is a lovely space where you're just you're happy with yourself. The next from this is the Ten of Cups, which is... Um, where you then have family and community and, and and other people involved in your harmony. Whereas this is you sitting in your own emotional harmony with yourself. So you want to sit in this space for a while. I've seen a Jim Carrey quote actually where he says, um, you, you know, as soon as you get used to sitting with yourself, then everybody else comes in. As soon as you get happy with sitting alone then all of a sudden the, the party starts and everyone comes to you so it's a bit like that now this lovers in reverse i'm very curious about this tell me the story behind the lovers in reverse please for leo in may 2000 okay so there is there's a story so this then this then this and then this all right so the four of swords in reverse it talks to me about coming out of a space of rest and seclusion. Um, so you have been like very much within yourself and not even on offer to anyone else in the world. The next card that comes out is the sun. Now, whether it's upright or whether it's reversed, the sun is always happy. The sun is always shining and happy and coming um, coming into joy. So you are coming out of recluse and you're coming into joy. Um, the next card is the eight of pentacles, which is very much about working on yourself, working on your achievements uh, through study, through work advancement, even through, you know, self-help stuff and, um, you know, spiritual growth and stuff. So this is telling me that you are doing a lot of inner work. So you can't have a relationship with anyone else until you, well, you can't have a quality relationship with anyone else until you have a quality relationship with yourself. And this is showing me that you're very much doing everything you need to to um, activate that, um, you know, higher part of you that is going to attract somebody who is worthy. You, the Knave of Swords, this is you cutting through the shit, but this can also be you um, wanting to make an offer of love, wanting to make an offer and kind of ride into someone's world and be all like, yep, look, I'm here. I've done all this work. I'm standing in the sun. I've come out of seclusion. I'm ready to go. But uh, the knave of swords, this can be premature because it isn't the knight. It's the knave. So the knave can often be doing things a little prematurely, can be speaking 
before he's thought things out properly. So this is almost like warning of all this good work you've done. Don't like rush out and offer yourself yet because you, you're still coming into that space of power where you're going to align with somebody who's who's on the level with you. And this is, as clarifiers for the lovers, this is telling me the story as to why it doesn't work. Okay, because it's premature and you're still working on yourself. You're, you're stepping into the sunlight of your own higher self, but you've you've come out of seclusion. So, you know, you've got to take these things slow. I mean, fire signs always like to just jump straight in. We can get a bit carried away like that, Leo. Anyway, all right, the three of swords, I'd really like to see what's going on there. Three of Swords. I know one came out, but I want in-depth of what's going on here. The Leo May. Okay, okay. Alrighty. So, yeah. Um, the Ace of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Swords in reverse, and the Empress. So, um, this is telling me that... Yeah, you don't want something that's just based on sex. You don't want something that's just based on words. You need something that is nurturing, something that is grounded and nurturing and, um, you know, going to support every level of you. And I don't see this as actual heartbreak. I see this as more disappointment of um, you're not... It's not aligning. This lover's card isn't aligning with you and you're getting frustrated. But it's because it's not the trifecta yet. You know, it's saying you need this holy three. Otherwise, this is the three that will come and you don't want that. So you need to have, you know, things align better because you've aligned, you're have aligned with yourself. It's just telling me you've done so much work. And although you're ready, you feel like you're ready, um, life, love is going to happen in good time, not your time. And say we ignore this and we ignore that and you go straight into it, you jump into some something with somebody you think you want, it will lead to that because it's, um, you know, that higher connection isn't aligning yet and these cards are warning you of that, that inner work that you're still doing on yourself is important. That stepping into the sun space, like, that's sacred. You step into that sun space and out of reclusion but not prematurely, okay? Don't start offering that to somebody else. You need this to get to the nine before you can offer it and actually have something worthwhile. Because, look, well, Leo, you guys are regal. You can't have these superficial things unless it's ego-driven. And this is telling me that you're not doing ego right now. You're actually doing quite genuine work on yourself. And, um, yeah, unless this is... So say this was... The Ace of Swords matched with the Ace of Wands and then, like, you know, the Ace of Cups, that would be a trifecta all upright, ready to go. But it's in reverse and there's this nurturing. This is telling me you need to you need to find someone who's grounded and nurturing or they need to find you. But first you need to fully find yourself. So otherwise, yeah, heartbreak. So if you've if you've ignored all of what I've said, that three of swords is going to hurt. So, yeah. Alrighty, Leo. I know you can take it. So uh, that's why I just give it to you straight. Thank you for watching, sharing, and liking my video. Uh, if you'd like to keep in touch for next month's videos, please click subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading, uh, just use the email address below. Alright. Thanks, Leo.